Siren Head is a fictional creature created by artist Trevor Henderson. It's depicted as a tall, emaciated figure with two sirens for a head, which emit various disturbing sounds including emergency broadcasts, screams, and music. There isn't a specific full storyline as it's more of a cryptid or urban legend, often appearing in short stories, artwork, and indie horror games. The lore surrounding Siren Head varies, but common themes include its ability to mimic sounds to lure prey, its origin as a creation of unknown forces, and its penchant for terrorizing unsuspecting victims in remote areas. But did you know that Siren Head was caught on camera? Here's proof. Siren Head is a fictional being created by the Canadian artist respectfully known as Trevor Henderson. It is a 12 meters tall humanoid creature with a heavily emaciated, near-skeletal frame covered in dried, mummified flesh with a color similar to rusted metal. Emaciated being with a pair of sirens, capable of emitting various noises both natural and man-made, including sirens, radio broadcasts, white noise, and human voices. Siren Head is distinctly known for its tall stature, which stands 40 feet tall, and its iconic sirens, which takes the place of its head. This creature is known to be hostile and hunts people as if they were prey, although it usually hangs around in rural towns and wooden areas. The first sighting of it occurred in 1966, when a family on vacation in Arizona desert, captured an image of Siren Head. However, it is implied heavily that Siren Head has been around since the beginning of mankind, as it appears in cave paintings. Its limbs are disproportionately long and thin, with arms almost as long as its entire body that ends in huge, bony hands, where a human's head and neck would be is a thin pole of flesh with two sirens attached to them facing in opposite directions, hence its name, and several black wires snaking around its neck and into its upper shoulders, pressed against its abdomen. The speakers are fused to the neck by tendrils of skin and capable of swiveling around, much like the head of an owl. Some images depict siren head speakers with toothy, lipless human-like jaws and a long, retractable thin snake-like tongue, though Henderson has said that the teeth are only visible on a certain radio frequency. Some photographs depict siren head as having multiple sirens, or having a street lamp in place of its head. Both of these imply that Siren Head either has the ability to change its appearance to better blend in with its surroundings, or that subspecies of Siren Head exist, which, as confirmed by Trevor, are now deceased. Siren Head isn't a being of our reality, instead Siren Head is much different than us, as it is not limited by our laws of nature. Basically, Siren Head is a constantly changing manifestation, which almost always appears different in the victim's view of Siren Head. The information changes all knowledge we have on Siren Head, which opens various theories about the creature. It is not known how. Siren Head came to have sirens in the distant past before actual sirens were invented. Trevor has recently revealed many more facts about Siren Head to it is actually the static form of an unfathomable supernatural entity to despite its lack of eyes, it can still see too it also has the ability to manipulate technology by playing sounds through other devices too it spends most of its time standing still, but it has the ability to move very fast. Two victims of Siren Head have apparently been found with their eyes slash eardrum slash gum slash sinuses burst and bleeding, a description which matches the aftermath of a recent incident where the majority of a town was found killed in this fashion. Weapons such as arrows or spears, basically do not normally work on the entity. It has almost never been spotted in populated areas. Despite the teeth in its speakers, Siren Head does not eat meaning that it may not actually be a predator in the traditional sense, though there is contradictory evidence in this regard. The first sighting of Siren Herd occurred in 1966, when a family on vacation in the Arizona desert captured an image of the creature in a graveyard. Twenty years later, on July 16, 1995, Chad and his friends were hiking in the woods of Tanyard Creek, where they found Siren Head to be lurking. According to Chad, his friends got snatched by something gigantic striding through the trees that mimicked their voices. Chad was found alive with a few injuries, while the friends were gone, either taken or killed by Siren Head. In total, there have been 13 reports of Siren Head, and all of the stories were released by the victims. One example is a photo of Siren Head in Indiana, where citizens started disappearing, and it was seen on the streets in a photo. Although, these incidents are not the first depictions of Siren Head. 
Ancient rocks paintings of Siren Head have been found all over the continent of North America, which indicates that Siren Head is not a new species slash creature on Earth. There have been also sightings of creatures that resemble Siren Head, but lack similar features. For example, a photo of Siren Head was released where it appears to have a street light for a head, while it is trying to blend in with the other street lights by standing still. It is very possible that Siren Head has the ability to transform into various urban structures, in order to resemble and lure his victims. However, there are theories that Siren Head is actually a hostile species, that there used to be a lot of creatures similar Siren Head, which are now deceased, and Siren Head is the last remaining member of his species. This is just speculation though, and not confirmed by Trevor yet. As expected, Siren Head is very a hostile and dangerous creature, as it is known to be very fast and always being camouflaged and hidden. Siren Head is mainly found in rural towns, wooden areas, and sometimes in dry forests. The victims of Siren Head are lost travelers, hikers, and even children. If the sounds of someone in distress are released, it can be a method of Siren Head trying to lure the victims into the woods. Since Siren Head can blend in very well within trees, people do not notice it. It could make its brutal attack at any time and capture its victims, while the sound of their loved ones talking are being played from Siren Head's sirens. Trevor has recently posted another drawing of Siren Head along with another concept of Siren Head's anatomy. He states that he likes the idea that Siren Head's body is stuffed full of loose cassette tapes and giant pulsing reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, connected by organic fibers and veins. It is possible that these tapes store the various noises that Siren Head broadcasts, however, this has not been confirmed yet. Trevor has also said that it is possible that Siren Head consistently changes over the years, or that its appearance could somehow be incomprehensible to humans, so our eyes just see the closest approximation to its actual appearance. However, he has yet to confirm either option. Siren Head hunts by silently standing at Siren Head does to the victims once caught and its hunting tactic can also be throwing shingles into the air though multiple games were created, and to show off the fact Siren Head was in fact in the environment with the player, one or more corpses are normally found, which may show that Siren Head doesn't always kill for sustenance, even though none of the games were created by Trevor Henderson himself, nor proven to be fact over fiction. Other theories include eating them, or adding them to the roster of voices used by it. Although, Siren Head is not above fooling people with their friends' voices. One sighting suggests that it also blocks out the screams of its devoured victims with other sounds, in order to prevent anyone from coming to the victim's aid. Thus, while weapons are not known to work on Siren Head, its need to conceal its attacks and generally elusive behavior imply that there may be some way of harming it, or at least interrupting its activity. Alternatively, this may be done to ensure a successful hunt by confusing and disorienting the prey, or it might be simple cruelty. Siren Head mainly uses an ambush strategy to hunting, disguising itself in deep forest or rural areas before attacking its prey. With its sound-based abilities, it can mimic other sounds, music, talking, alerts, sirens, etc., to lure in prey or drown out someone's cry for help with its sound-based abilities. It is also possible Siren Head can concentrate its sounds into a large sonic blast or a specific tone to take out a large group of people. It is yet unknown what Siren Head does to its caught prey, be it eating them or making them disappear without a trace. When directly seen by an opponent however, it will rush at them seemingly in rage or in a state of bloodlust, and if it is hungry enough, it will use every possible tactical advantage to get its prey. It has brown mummified skin, matching the pattern of rusty metal or tree bark, which it uses for camouflage. Siren Head is also very fast, while on two feet, its assumed maximum speed is around 24.3 miles per hour. While on all fours, its speed is assumed to be a maximum of around 258.2 miles per hour, making it much faster than the average car. Some people believe Siren Head to use echolocation like bats do to get around in the dark, as seen, Siren Head has no eyes. Siren Head was firstly introduced to the world in 2018, when Trevor Henderson created a Tumblr and Twitter posts, in which he published Siren Head for the first time. On October 31, 2018, a group of game developers which are known as Modus Interactive, released a horror game for Siren Head, boosting its popularity even further, 
and on December 7, 2019, a developer known as Thelian Painedon created his own Siren Head horror game too. The video games highly influenced Siren Head's gain in popularity, it was even proposed to the SCP Foundation to become a SCP of its own, but it was declined by the Foundation, and they stated that Siren Head is not an SCP-8 any source implying Siren Head to be a SCP is false. On April 30, 2020, a film creator and a TikTok persona known as Alex Howard, created a video of Siren Head moving around in a background, while at the same time police and gunfires can be heard. The video got popular very quickly, gaining over 20 million views in one week. The video escalated to the point of getting video edited. The original background sound got replaces by numerous different songs and audio clips, making it look like Siren Head is blasting music from its horns. A good example is the video Siren Head Gangnam Style by Large Trap, where Siren Head is seen dancing and playing the infamous song Gangnam Style by Sinine.